All right, we're in the house. Black Power is the general, y'all. You know what I'm saying? About to step on some to toes early in the afternoon. You feel me? I ain't gonna even give you time to goddamn know I'm coming. I got to jump right through the goddamn window on niggas. Straight up. You know, we, it's getting very critical. You know, this Sunday, uh, June 30th, uh, General said a young Pharaoh, hip hop Illuminati exposed. And, you know, we, we given a preview of some of the information that, you know, you're going to see this Sunday. And, you know, niggas is on, you know, I, I hit niggas up on Instagram uh, and Facebook about, you know, you know, Pimp C and UGK and 3-6 Mafia, you see, and, you know, a lot of they, you know, responsibility for where niggas is at today fucking with that link. You know what I'm saying? And I seen motherfuckers getting their motherfucking felons, you know, that I touched on that issue, okay? Now, you know, when I was coming up, there's a lot of motherfucking music that I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? But as I grew in my mind, you know, I knew that at, at the age that I'm, I am now, I can't be running around here playing that dumb shit, okay? And so I, you know, as you know, Pimp C right before, and there's no disrespect to the king, you know, but you know, truth is motherfucking truth, whether motherfuckers like it or not. You know what I'm saying? Truth is motherfucking truth. And so as I say, everybody want to go to heaven, but don't nobody want to die. Everybody want to get to the, the core of the issue, but don't nobody want to step on no motherfucking toes. When you get ready to deal with issues out here, in all the facets of society and dealing with, I, you got to step on some goddamn toes. And so if you ain't ready to step on no motherfucking toes, then you ain't ready to bring no solutions to a lot of the motherfucking issues out here. You want them bitch ass niggas that sit up there and make up a, a fake motherfucking solution to a problem that don't even motherfucking exist, okay? And so, you know, the thing is, hip hop, is advertising dope fiendism, okay? I don't give a fuck whether you must be a motherfucking dope fiend, okay? You, cause somebody stepping on your toe. That's all it is. That's all it is. Motherfucker, when you throw a rock into a pack of motherfucking dog, the one that holler was the one that got hit. So when the motherfucker started dealing with the issue, cause I'm, I'm looking at the babies. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't. I don't give a fuck about you. I'm looking at the baby. And when you seeing babies out here walking around with a goddamn pop bottle full of some goddamn codeine cough syrup, we in trouble, whether you want to deal with it or not, okay? And so when we, like I said, when you look at that issue, you got to step on some goddamn toes. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, I, I made a comment because a lot of people looked at, you know, Pimp C as being conscious. Now, when I said that, I didn't say Pimp C said he was conscious. I'm just saying the man walked. There was many things about his walk that, you know, I could respect. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm trying to, but the man, you know, it's obvious. The man OD. Okay? Okay? And that's no disrespect, you know? We got a serious problem going on even with our beloved. You see what I'm saying? Even with our beloved. And, you know, you know, it, it, Whitney Houston, old, old dirty bastard. You know, he died of an overdose. You understand? These are our beloved. You know what I'm saying? And so it's no goddamn disrespect. But sometimes, many times, when you have family like that, nigga, they calling out for help. Ain't no motherfucking time for you bitch motherfuckers be talking about, oh, you know, motherfuckers call, be giving signs that they need help. And many times we overlook them damn signs. You know, because we don't want to, you know, of, uh, you know, offend nobody or or whatever, whatever. They many of them them people, our beloved, want to be offended. They want a motherfucker because in their mind they can't get off the hook. They own the motherfucking hook. You see what I'm saying? They own the motherfucking hook, and they want somebody that's gonna help them get off the motherfucking hook. 
Oh, can a motherfucker justify what's going on? They need a motherfucker to say, you need help, nigga. You need help. And our community need help. You understand what I'm saying? They, they got codeine addiction all in Nigeria, all in Africa. Epidemic level. Epidemic level. I was watching this shit on Vice. And motherfuckers say he running from reality. They say, why you take it? I'm running from reality. You understand what I'm saying? Running from goddamn reality. Niggas is dealing with all type of issues that they just can't not deal with. And so they run to a, an ex form of escapism. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, a lot of people got in their toe, you know, uh, you know, got in their feelings because I stepped on a goddamn toe. And I said, well, nigga, y'all niggas is responsible. Yes, it was already motherfuckers out there leaning, but we talking about advertising. A lot of people would not have known of that shit if it wasn't for the motherfucking music. You got motherfuckers out here rapping about Xanaxes and shit. We talking about motherfuckers that's worth 150 motherfucking million. We talking about this fake ass nigga Drake talking about he taking Xannies on the plane and bitch, you worth 150 motherfucking million dollars. I know you didn't make that 150 million motherfucking dollars Xanax, taking Xanaxes. You see, if you're going to rap about, nigga, rap about how you, you know, your business, you know, curriculum, nigga, how you got that 150. Don't sit up there and rap no bullshit like that. Nigga, you work for 150 fucking million. And so, you know, I got issues with that. Because, again, you know, you got to look at this shit that what Pimp C, Pimp C was actually talking about is what the fuck I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Pulling the goddamn veil back because he was talking about a lot of fake ass rappers. OK, and the shit that they talk about that they don't do. So if they don't do that, what the fuck is the mission for y'all niggas advertising niggas? You know, and some of them niggas is taking that shit. Oh, now, nah, some of them niggas is pure dope things. Straight up, you got Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, damn, don't know, but and you, Rick Ross, damn, we don't know what happened to Ricky. You understand? But he was in goddamn hospital not too long ago. You understand what I'm saying? But he rapped that shit. Okay, so if a motherfucker assuming you is coming out your motherfucking mouth, we assume, nigga, did, what happened? Did you take too much of that shit? They got a little Wayne, and they he talking about he having seizures. If you having seizures, nigga, why you leaning like that? Okay, why you taking all that goddamn shit? You think that shit making it any goddamn better? You know what I'm saying? You think, you know what I'm saying? So we in that, uh, on, a, on a level of crisis at this time, okay? We on a level of crisis. And so in order to deal with this month, you have to step on goddamn toes. You got to step on goddamn toes. So I'm, you know, I, I'm thinking to myself, you know, if these niggas put on some, some gym shoes and, you know, it, when 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 Run DMC, you know, started my Adidas, you know what I'm saying? This, that, and third, they was getting paid by Adidas. You got motherfuckers out here. You got Nas, got a contract with Hennessy. You see what I'm saying? He got a goddamn contract with Hennessy. And so while these niggas is out here rapping all this shit about this lean and all this shit, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, and this is a serious, 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 you know, you know, I, you know, um, uh, thought I have about, you know, the pharmaceutical industry. You know what I'm saying? Because don't nobody know about that dumb shit. Don't nobody know about that dumb shit. How the fuck do babies know about Xanaxes and, and shit like this, 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 that, and the third? Man, because these niggas is rapping, they advertising this shit. So is the pharmaceutical industry paying these niggas under the table? Because every product got to have a commercial. Every product has a goddamn uh, 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 a jingle. You understand what I'm saying? You go on, you wouldn't even know it. Goddamn it, every goddamn, you, even car lots. Nigga, they got a goddamn commercial. Come on the goddamn radio. If you didn't know, if that motherfucker didn't put that commercial on there, how the fuck would you know that car lot even fucking existed? Okay, on a major level. You understand what I'm saying? So people have to advertise every motherfucking product out there. You see what I'm saying? So we have to wonder, you know, is there a, a, a it, and I ain't got to wonder. I know. Why would motherfuckers be promoting some shit like that? Calling out the name brand or some dope and shit and like and Xanax and all this shit. Sending them right to, to the motherfucking industry, corp, pharmaceutical corporation that produced that goddamn pill. You understand what I'm saying? You free promotion? Your free motherfucking promotion? 
every motherfucking name brand out there, if one of them niggas rapping on it and they call that name, I would expect if they're doing it on any major level, they're getting paid to do that. You understand what I'm saying? And so it all boils down to the motherfucking, the, who's signing these niggas to these contracts? You know what I'm saying? This this speaking to the Illuminati. This is speaking to who the fuck is running this music because this is the advertising game for the black community. And whatever these niggas rap, whether it's clothing, niggas want to rock that. Whether it's drugs, niggas going to want to do that. Okay? And then you got to, and not only, then you get the goddamn liquor stores and shit already falling in line. Got synthetic lean right there for your baby looking like little, you know, coming in the little Skittle colors, red, blue, and green right there looking like some shit for a kid. You see what I'm saying? So they advertising for the kid. It don't come like you get it out uh CVS. You understand what the name brand, you know, you get a label across the bottom. No, they making that shit red, green, you know, look, looking damn near like pop, you know, different color pop. So it's, uh, you know, it's attractive to the babies. Okay. And then you got these niggas out here rapping this shit. And then you're not talking about it's an opioid epidemic where people's is dying every goddamn day, overdosing. We talking about even the rich, beloved. You see Michael Jackson ass, dope fiend, loving, was a goddamn, you know, for his music and shit. You know what I'm saying? Coming up and grow. And a lot of these people we grow up on, Whitney, you understand? Dying, and, you know, just dying because of an overdose of some goddamn shit and niggas don't want to deal with it. You see what I'm saying? And so reality is this hip hop shit got to be looked at. You know, motherfuckers go up there with all that goddamn, all oh, the signs and you know, the lumen. Now, no, nigga get to the real motherfucking issue. The hardcore issue. A lot of times motherfuckers don't want to deal with it cause the shit is succumbing they motherfucking ass. What the fuck is we talking about? Got family men. And so people look at it as, as a form of shame. It's not about shame. It's about dealing with the issue. Nigga, we done been over here in this goddamn hellhole for so motherfucking long. Niggas will do anything to escape from the goddamn, the everyday madness of this goddamn hood. And a, and a lot of, and another thing that motherfuckers don't talk about, that when motherfuckers are taking this shit is suicide. Suicide. I'm gonna get on that white boy Eminem. He's another stupid motherfucker. You know, y'all wasn't talking about, you know, how he came in and he got that song purple pills. And he was way back then talking about all them different kind of pills that he taking and shit. And then making hit songs about suicide, disrespecting his mama. He's a dope fiend. And niggas idolized his sick ass. And don't nobody want to deal with everybody. Just let it be, bitch, because you're a dope fiend. I got to talk about it today. You understand what I'm saying? And we got to, we ain't going nowhere if we high as hell on all this shit that they synthetic goddamn niggas on mollies. And we see niggas running, busting their head up against the glass and shit. You understand? And, you know, the niggas got the zombie shit, whatever that shit they niggas taking. They got the zombie motherfucker run, actually try to die through the back of a goddamn car window. You know, all type niggas out there looking like zombies. They got all this crazy shit out here today. And people don't want to deal with it. Okay? It's a fucking epidemic out here on a major level dealing with every age group in our community. From the young all the way up to the old. And niggas don't know what to do, ain't got no platform, ain't really dealing with the issue because too many of you bitch ass niggas just want to get along. Matter of fact, you you can't wait to get up off this bitch right now so you can go out there and sip on something, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Post something down your goddamn throat. You know, and all this synthetic ass shit that they putting out here on niggas. You understand? Don't want to get and then come back up on the goddamn internet talking about the issue, the issue, the issue, bitch, you don't want to step on no toes. I don't give a fuck what it is out here. I don't give a fuck what your agenda is. And whatever you see, even if you in business, I don't give a fuck if you in goddamn, even if you in sports, nigga, you going to have to step on some toes, bitch. I want the championship, so I'm going to have to step on, I might say any motherfucking thing to you, nigga. Get in your head, nigga. 
You understand? That's the, that's the aim of the goddamn game. You must step on toe because there's another motherfucker that wants your goddamn spot. You understand what I'm saying? And they want spot. You, if it's if it was a problem, it's a problem because somebody else got an agenda and they all right with it. You understand? The white man got an agenda. It's he all right with what's happening. So when you get ready to deal with this issue, you got to step on his goddamn toe. You know what I'm saying? They selling all this shit. The pharmaceutical industry, one of the major industries in the United States of America. And so when you talk about you ain't never heard them motherfuckers bring the issue up or why so much of these opioids is out here. Is you mean to tell me that many niggas is sick? Is that many niggas sick where they need that level of fucking dope out here on in the man? Get the fuck out of here. You understand this? This is a fucking agenda. Okay, and don't nobody. And so the you know, you got all the Eli Lilly and all these crazy ass motherfucking uh uh companies out here that's producing all this high intensity dope pill hydrocodone and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talking about popping. And the thing is, is being advertised in hip hop on a level, every goddamn rap, nigga, I'm dropping this. I'm, I'm taking this. I'm, you know, I'm sipping on this. You understand what I'm saying? And I brought this up the other day. If you come on this internet and you say, you know what? I'm going to go down here and do something stupid, blow something up at the day, you know, and especially some political shit. They come into your motherfucking house. Nigga, did you just put something on this goddamn internet talking about you about to threaten somebody with some bomb? Nigga, that's a terroristic threat. They kicking your motherfucking dough in. You understand? You cannot spew no type of information like that when you know it's a crime to do that. So if you know that it's an opi and it's a state of emergency, you understand? Oh, Donald Slump or Trump, uh, you understand what I'm saying? Issue because he know. You understand? If they don't do nothing about it, nigga, this motherfucking nation is going to collapse based in, on the fact that the majority of niggas out here going to be dope thing. So they having people die all over the country because they OD in. They OD in on this shit. You know, so right now it's a state of a motherfucking emergency on the, on the opioid. So if niggas is out here rapping about opioids and it's a state of emergency of motherfuckers out here dying and OD then why ain't nobody addressing these motherfuckers on the national level? Like, wait a minute. Don't you know, understand that motherfuckers is dying and shit? Why is y'all motherfuckers promoting some shit and it's already a state of a fucking emergency where people are dying all over the fucking country and ain't nobody saying shit? See what I'm saying? So that's when the motherfuckers got to say, you know what? We got to step, because I don't understand. If, if it's a state of emergency, whatever it is, you got to go to the origin of what's causing it. You got these dumbass doctors who are signed. They ain't nothing but tricks and hoes who are selling motherfucking prescription for nothing. You understand? And, and, and got these peoples out here because of goddamn, you understand? Somebody got to write a prescription unless you got the motherfucker. You got a, a, a motherfucking uh, uh, connect all the way up in goddamn Eli Lilly. Okay, so you got the doctors. You understand what they trick ass? That's supposed to be helping the people, and all they doing is poisoning the goddamn people, signing all these goddamn fake ass prescriptions to get these people that dope. Because the only way you're gonna get that dope is you go to that goddamn doctor and get a goddamn prescription. Okay? So there you go, right there. You understand? And supposed to be, and motherfuckers talking about Dr. Sabi, and is he a fake or a fraud? Bitch, these the goddamn frauds. And that's why I was saying, how the fuck is you gonna get mad about a little nigga? on the block even though i don't condone no form of dope selling or none of that or taking or none of that but you will go down to the little nigga on the block with a 50 dollar sack and these bitches is selling all type of opioids hayride cocaine right out the pharmacy the pharmacy right a cvs and all the walgreens and all of that shit every day each one of them bitches is selling making a goddamn hundred thousand dollars every day each one of them separately and ain't nobody, you talking about a little nigga with a sack on the goddamn block, but you ain't talking about these trap houses that's right aid and goddamn CBS that's selling these motherfucking pills and shit to these people. Got them in the state because the doctors, the goddamn pharmacy, the pharmacy, 
and the goddamn government who know what's going on allow for that to happen because it's money first. They don't give a fuck about no body health, the health of the people. Get the fuck out of here. You get you, you fooling yourself. So if you ain't ready to step on no motherfucking toes, you ain't ready to deal with the goddamn issue. Is them goddamn uh, pharmaceutical companies going out of business? I doubt it very seriously. They're going to find a way to, you know, they always do some shit and then come right back. You understand? On another level. And you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to pacify these people. Because if you don't give them a, a, a form of escapism, you understand? Poverty. You understand? Motherfuckers got mortgages, can't pay their mortgage. You understand? Motherfuckers. Is, and so they find a form of escapism. And when that no longer works, then they go to suicide and shit. A lot of them. Drug, you know, them goddamn drugs lead to suicide. Nobody want to deal with that. Motherfucker want to say the side effects, suicide. You understand what I'm saying? Motherfuckers go ahead and take their life. You understand what I'm saying? On, on a level, even if they don't consciously, they understand the pain. And so, you know what? I'm going to take a, I'm going to just go on and down this whole bottle. I can't, you know, I'm not, I got to go all the way out. You understand what I'm saying? And so niggas go to sleep forever because they trying to escape from goddamn reality. We got to deal with the issues, man. We got to deal with the issues. Everything is tied in to one another. And I'm saying hip hop is the motherfucking advertising platform for these motherfucking pharmaceutical, com pharmaceutical companies. They is. And I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why would y'all motherfuckers promote this shit on this level? If a motherfucker ain't sliding you something, you understand what I'm saying? Because you making these motherfuckers billions. You understand what I'm saying? Them pharmaceutical com companies is making billions, billions of motherfucking dollars. You understand what I'm saying? So why would you be up there promoting and calling out a name brand like that? If a motherfucker ain't sliding, if Nas getting paid off of Hennessy, Cavassier, I think I don't know if Buster Rhyme when he made that song, you know, you know, Pastor Cavassier. You understand what I'm saying? Or whatever it is. My anytime a motherfucker call out a name, Brian, you know, ain't no sense of calling that shit out like that if you ain't getting no money. You understand what I'm saying? That's just common motherfucking sense. Them niggas is about paper. You understand what I'm saying? All type of endorsements and shit. That's an endorsement. When you call some shit out like that, that's a fucking endorsement. So you understand what I'm saying? One hand, huh? Washes the other. That's how that shit go. One fucking hand washes the other. So we got to wake up today. We got to wake up today and understand that you know, no matter you know, as my you know, we we grown. And if your dumb ass want to go and. Do your life the way you'd go to right the fuck on head. That's your prerogative. You want to be the next nigga with a motherfucking toe tag, nigga? You understand? But why do you ain't got the motherfucking, the, uh, you know, the, uh, cur the courage to at least lead the babies in, a, in the right direction? Why they got to be a dope fiend? Because your bitch ass a dope fiend. Do better than that, ho ass nigga. I don't give a fuck what you say, bitch, die. I don't give a fuck, bitch, lean till you can't lean no more. Lean all the way up if that's what you want to do. But the, the question is, when we, you know, you coming up, nigga, you don't show the babies the wickedness of the world. You try to show them a better way. Even if your ass is a part of that world, you try to show them the, a different way. You can't come around here. Get your ass on up the block. Get on up the block. Go on to the library. Go on down there and do something, you know, go on to the basketball court. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's wrong with a lot of the shit, you know, that's going because a lot of that shit ain't even provided in the community no more. You know, no basketball court, nowhere for the kids to go. And even if they got a park, you silly niggas is out there taking the shit to the park and instead of letting the babies go and play and have fun. Y'all niggas up there parked up there doing the dumb shit with the, where the babies is at. You ain't got no motherfucking understand, you know, no limitations to what the shit you do. All right. All right. I don't give a fuck if you do not like it or not. OK, I don't give a flying fuck, nigga. Bye, bitch.
Go on and do what you do. I ain't got no love for no weak hearted nigga. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? At least have some consciousness to debate the right way, no matter what the fuck you do. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you know that the majority of the people that listen to hip hop music and they love these niggas, you understand? I grew up on hip hop. We know how powerful a medium hip hop is. And you mean to tell me a lot of you niggas is multi-millionaire. You're not rapping about the business aspect of what made you a millionaire because I know you could not have done that high all the motherfucking time. Rap about the shit that got you to make them millions. You don't do that. You don't do that because it's a bigger motherfucking issue. And that's why I want y'all to, the link is right down in the, uh, See, I see when I go in and I'm, you know, I can see this really is fucking with me, you know, and I'm ready to snap on you whole ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, get this motherfucker because where, where I'm ready to go, I know the Internet. Now I'll break this bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I got to have platforms where I can go all the fucking way in. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the beast got an agenda. I know these niggas got an agenda. But somebody got to stand on the front fucking line, okay, and tell it just like it is and step on all the fucking toes that need to be stepped on. Bitch, I'm going to get some goddamn steel toe boots, nigga, and I'm smashing down on all motherfucking toes, okay? So, family, the link right down in the description, General Seti, Young Pharaoh, this Sunday, hip hop Illuminati exposed. Not just throwing, you know, niggas always putting up the Nobody talking about the real issue. Fuck the signs. We know these niggas throwing up some signs. And we just, oh, they were, but bitch, what's the real issue? And I think that one of them, if not the most major issue, is the fact that they're trying to turn the young youth of black America into a generation of dope fiends. Had y'all went up there to the Arab store and bounced up on they bitch ass and say, why y'all got this shit in there? Don't you see them young niggas out there with them bottles and shit? You understand what I'm saying? How all damn can't even get up. All right, all right, all right, okay, and whatever the fuck you got to say. All right, nigga, okay, okay, I believe you, I believe you, but nigga, when your heart, nigga, is big enough, let me know, let me know, nigga, let me know when your heart get big enough, because I'm going to go up in there and I'm going to snatch that bitch out while it's beating, nigga, and I'm going to eat that bitch. Right there in front of your face, nigga. Straight up. This is how we coming, nigga. We talking about we soldiers and we for our community. And you understand? We know what we up against. And you ain't no motherfucking soldier. And you ain't for no motherfucking community. If you don't see what I'm saying and ain't ready to come up on this front line and step on the toes that you got to step on to say the baby. Fuck that, nigga. Shut your bitch ass mouth because you lying. When you're ready to step up here and say these baby and understand the crisis that they in and what these motherfucking white peoples and these Jews and these old hoe ass niggas that then signed up to be they foot soldiers, you understand, to come down here and lead the next generation of black America off the cliff. If you're not ready to look them niggas in their eyes. You understand? With no fear and say, bitch, this is far as you're going. If you're not ready to do that, bitch, I don't want to hear nothing coming up out your mouth talking about no consciousness, no black, say the black community or none of that. Because it takes soldiers, nigga. It takes generals, nigga, to step up on the front line to save this community. You know why? Because we at war. This ain't no, uh, no talking, con you know, talking peace. Bitch, we at war. We at motherfucking war. And so and when you in a war, nigga, you need soldiers. You need dedicated soldiers that's real willing to do anything to win this motherfucking war. Okay? So family, have the babies. Get the babies. 
Run them, go get in and have them win this lecture. Have them at the lecture. Let them sit down and hear. They didn't heard the big shit. They're going to hear it when they get up and get right in and put them headphones. They let them hear some alternative information from some motherfuckers, some real niggas that's going to drop it down on their ass. And that way, let, we can plant the seed. And so as they go out there in them streets and, and they see and their life may not be where it's supposed to be and they fall in a little bit and they feel they self fall, they can have that seed to sprout and they have something that they can latch on to and say, you know what? I, I remember this information from General Seti and he said, you know, some powerful information and I'm about to latch and I'm about to use this information to my advantage. Okay? So family, hit that motherfucking link. General Seti, Young Pharaoh, this Sunday, June 30th, popping off one o'clock, Hip Hop Illuminati exposed, coming away, ain't no niggas coming. We ain't up there talking just talking about no finger signs and bitch, fuck that. What's the real issue? This is what you need. So hit that link, get your motherfucking ticket today, and I'll see you niggas, son. Black pop.